next dish we're gonna work on is a pot pie. And it's gonna have a puff pastry lid on it. It doesn't really matter what you put into it. Meat is key, but I'm gonna run with mushrooms, celery, carrot, pearl onion, potatoes, peas, some fresh herbs. The carrots need a little bit of softening yet. So I'm gonna do them in this pan. At the same time, I'm gonna start browning a pound and a half of the ground meat mixture. Want to add celery, mushroom, parsley, thyme, a little bit of oregano. Now I have the, the potatoes. I pre-soften this by boiling them a little bit. The peas are raw, but they cook so fast that I know they'll be fine. I have pearl onion here. Okay, now I'm gonna stir in the meat in with the vegetables. Now to make sort of the gravy or the sauce, start adding in flour. You want to get it where everything seems to have a slight a bit of a coating of flour on it. It's not stew, it's thicker than stew. Finally I'm going to add in some tomato paste. And stir that around very good. And at this point you want it on low heat because you don't want to burn it. Once everything's right and you kind of like the looks of it, you like what's in there, you got this thickness. Go ahead and fill your ramekins. It has to be an oven safe receptacle. To top a pot pie, I'm going to make a simple puff pastry. And this stuff is made in a food processor. It's just flour, sugar, salt. What I put in there, instead of using regular pork lard, is I put in a lard made from black bear fat. Once you have a piece big enough to cap the pie, just try to lift it up. Get it in your hand. You have, definitely have some extra so your sides can fall away. When you crimp it on there, don't let it hang over the edge too far because those pieces will burn. Once those are top, just brush it with egg white. And the last thing, take a fork and cut a little vent in there. So we'll put it in a lower oven and just watch, and you want to pull it out at the moment when this crust seems on the verge of burning. It should start to resemble sort of the outside of like the perfect loaf of bread or the perfect baguette, that kind of color to it. And then nab them out. These turned out very crinkly and nice. And then dig in there, it's just perfect. It's very wintry. You'd never have a bunch of dudes over on 4th of July and serve up pot pies. I mean, this is something for after a cold November hunt, a cold December hunt, that's when it's most satisfying.